this hair kids. I don't know how so I'm like God, I did it wrong. I don't know how you do it. This hair is a it's a lot. It's just two and a half years I've been growing this hair. Well, I think you might benefit from having a like a smaller I know I have one like, of them too. I was okay. But I didn't grab it's easier to work with. I know, but I want to kind of tame this hair down. Shit. Shoot, bleep. I mean, <laughs> Oh, we gotta do that. We gotta do that. We got a wild hair style today. Why not? It's like take us back to the '80s, James. I uh, I mean, you know, I always go back to the, the '80s. Is always <laughs> it. Um. So, um, we had good a little, morning. It was a little hard week, precious. What's going on? Um, no. We we're supposed I... to record a few days ago, and no one came to the recording. Oh yes. Did well, that, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. I had pre-warned. <laughs> you did. You did. Why did I did panic? You did. You the did. night before that, I was not feeling well. I have been uh, again struggling in the mornings with allergies, um, and I had like this really bad headache, sinus thing going on Monday. So that's why Tuesday got bumped. But here I am. Yes, yes. I feel more like myself <laughs> this Friday morning. Thank <laughs> you for moving our time. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I worked yesterday, but um. Oh, but as we were going to anyway at eight thirty in the morning, on, on when we were recording, the police showed up my door. So that would have been like, insane if we yes. were recording and they knocked on your door. They would have. We would have been. We would have just started, and I would have heard the doorbell. And I'm like, this is my doorbell, and it was the police. I would have to say, hold, please, to handle that. And it happened. The police came to my house two days in a row this week. What is going on? I think we talked about, we talked about it here a while back, but so about six months ago, there was a domestic incident happened across the street from me. Yes. That one. So yeah, so I went to the I so I went to uh the hearing back in March where I lost a job because they 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 served me a couple of days before they it was a whole big mess. Right. And they didn't use me. After everything, they didn't even use me. I, I was there for two hours, and they go, you don't yeah. know that much. Go home. Thank you for coming. Go home. I'm thinking life goes on. Life is about to, you know, whatever. Oh. And then Tuesday morning, we're talking two months later, here to serve you. I'm like, for what? I literally I was just like, for what? And no, I'm like, for, I said, I'm about to do something. Like, what, what are you talking about? And if the district attorney's always for that same case. I guess now that was a preliminary. Now it's going to try. I go, and it's for like Tuesday. I go, I'm out of town. It's the holiday weekend. I'm not going to be back. He's like, oh, okay. And I said, so I thought the case was done. Well, I don't know. They told me to serve you. I'm like, so you're serving me again, less than a week's notice again. What is what is this about? It's so crazy. So then, anyway, so he was really nice. So we we're talking. He gave me his card. He goes, call this person. I call that person. They said, well, I'm the person. Call this person. So I called the messages three, two, three times. No, I didn't hear from them call back. The next day, I go to work. I come home around 2 30 in the afternoon. So the first one's 8 30 in the morning. These weird times too. They would show up to somebody's house. Um, chances are I wouldn't be home because it should be at work, right? Um, uh, but so 2 30, I get I get home, I'm come back here, put some stuff down. Ding dong. I'm like, maybe I got a package or something. Okay. Go to the front. It's the cop. It's the Ingrid police. I go, hello? Ingrid police for Mr. Lott. I go, what happened there? What did I do? He goes, um, I'm here to serve you. I go, for what? I'm like, grandpa <laughs> gay. I'm like, what? I'm like, what? He's like, I go, give me a second. I just got home. Give me a second. It's okay. He actually, he was really nice. He was kind of cute, actually. He was really nice. So I opened the door. What can I do? What did I do? <laughs> uh, I'm a bad boy. Oh, um, And he was like, I, I'm a short, I have, a, I have, a, I have a folks at home. I have a big affection for redheads. Can't I love a good ginch. Love it. And he was all he was all that. So I'm like, thank you. But anyway, um, I go, for what? And he's like, for this case it's happening on this headache is happening on two. I go, I was served yesterday. He's like, You were served yesterday. And that made me kind of laugh because he was like, Well, who served you? I go, I don't know. Put me in a badge. I know you guys are all served. Everybody's just serving. I mean, oh, I'm being, it's not being overserved. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. I'll be here all week. But not that day. Um, but anyway, so I'm like, he goes, can you show me paperwork from the other one? I said, sure. I said, that's right. right. I, was, I was served yesterday, so it's right on my desk. And I come back here, and, and I show it to me. He's like, but that's not us. I go, oh, well, who, oh, who that is? 
Um, and he's like, oh, the so he's from the he's from the district attorney's office. Wait, so they served you, but they told us I need to serve you. Like, but again, you're serving a day later, which is even less time than the other. I said, I said, I'm not. I said I can't go. I'm not gonna be there. I'm not gonna be in town. It's a holiday weekend. I'm out of town. I said. Also, I I went back in March. Like, no, I mean, I had no communication with anybody. No one's like giving me any heads up. Like, we're still going. Like, all this stuff. Like, they have it. Yeah. I go. Nobody. Wow. I mean, this has this whole process has been more problems for me than it's worth. Yes. Because it's a domestic dispute. They have their own stuff going on over there. And yes. I just have to see a few. I didn't even see everything. I saw a few things. And it's been costing me. So, so I'm like, it goes. I said, I have a number to call. I called, but I said, I'm not going. I'm not going to be yeah. there. He said, don't worry about it. He's like, he said, he said, it's like, he said, he kind of said off, off the record. They're not going to come after you if you don't show up to, for this thing. He's like, it's not like a big profile case or anything. And I said, well, I can't. I said, I, I have records. I have phone records. And I called. I tried. I have messages. All this stuff, and like again, I like said the last time they texted me, "We'll see you on Friday." And I'm like, "I never got to, I never got served." They served me the day before, so right. it's like all it's all messed up. It's all messed up. But I was like, "Why are police at my house every 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 day?" That was crazy. Uh it actually shows how dysfunctional the district attorney's office is. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. District Attorney. Yes, in Torrance, slashing in Torrance. You need to do some um, evaluation on your yes. processes and procedures. There you go, Tacey, There you go, and that's and that's why it, that, it goes back to them because obviously that's what it is. And I think, and everybody who served me in these last they all seem very nice. <laughs> no, of course, nice. they are nice people. Yeah, they're nice. <laughs> they're Doesn't nice. mean that they're you know they're just doing what they're told. Right. But he was confused. He was like, "What?" I'm like, so "I have like two. I have two things." And I'm just so like, when is like, the court date? When were you supposed to go? Tuesday. Tuesday, okay. And so I had heard somewhere from that's supposed to be at least supposed to be a couple of weeks' notice. I let you know what's going on. They're going to call you as a witness, and all kind of stuff. And I'm like, nope. Neither time I, I had less than I had less than a week both times. I mean, less than one was one was four days. One was well, I was officially served the night before. Right. Now, I'm wondering because when I went there, DA's like half the folks don't even come to these things. I'm surprised right. she came. And I go, well, I'm trying to be a good neighbor. That's why I said, you know, that's why I came. It's like, because I did. You're James Lott Jr., baby. Thank you. Thank you. So I came. I did. I was going to do my ice. I hated the whole thing. But I came down to show good faith that I'd be here. And all my other neighbors, yeah. they got served. They didn't come. Oh. And I have neighbors who saw everything across the street. I can tell you who they are. They didn't show up. Hmm. So I don't know what they're doing. But I was like, yeah, I said, I'm sorry. I said, I have records. I'm not going to be here. And no, oh, I just. I'm like, yeah. it's okay. Well, you can't, I mean, you, you can only do what you can do, James, right? I know, exactly. So it's just kind of weird. It's like, this, every two months, this thing is popping up. I'm like, oh my God, will it be over? I don't even care about them. I don't know these people. I don't care. Like, just handle it. Leave me out. Leave me out of it. Yeah. That's why folks don't want to be nice and do anything. If I, if I, if I stay in their houses and not do anything. Right. There's no yeah. good goes, un, goes unpunished or whatever. No good deed goes unpunished. Like cheese and crackers. So um, I was like, but I was up late. So, but the, one of the funny things is my brother, I was at my mom's house and cleaning up as I usually do. And I found a tape. Oh, that God. Has John, Lott, John Lott. My brother's name. But that was his old name. He has a new name now. Okay. John Lott. This tape, this TDX D90 tape. <laughs> It's from 1983. Whoa. 41 years old. But I saw it and go, John, I don't his name anymore. And so I bring it home to my player. I have a little player. I'm a show. Oh, show. you have one. Very cool. There's show and tell. Mm -hmm. CD. Yeah. Cassettes. <laughs> and it's so cute. And radio. It's so cute. So and I'm, it's very I'm, cute. So I'm playing stuff. Um, and so I found that. And um, so I found a mix CD that I made in the 90s. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm fine. Wait, La Delicious? It's called it? Latencia Crenshaw. Latencia Crenshaw. So that's okay. my drag name. So I have all these songs. I mean, I have, I have Jewel, Jessica Simpson, Simply Red. Oh, oh Simply Red. Pink's God is a DJ. I love that song. Anyway, so I have that <laughs> on it from, this is, this is TDK, oh, this is TDK also. I just recognize that. 
So I wow. went from 83, and this is like late 90s. But anyway, but I found this. And I was like, well, what is it? Is it an answer machine? Remember answer machines had tapes? Of course. I have one from like the late 90s or whatever. Anyway, I put it in. It's my brother rapping at age 13. Oh my God, how adorable. I forgot he was a rapper. I forgot he was going for rapping and I never heard him. I remember back in the day, he, I can tell the story because he's told the story before, but um, he wrote all the songs himself. We had a Casio keyboard. He programmed the beats and then he rapped. And he went by John Lott at first and he was Johnny Lott and then he was like, whatever. Anyway, he got a record deal at 16. Wow. And he turned it down. <gasps> he got scared. Oh, my mother said she would have signed and everything. We would have did it, but guess he, he said he thinks later is fear, fear of success, right? That would yes, be that's a real thing. It is a real thing, right? That that's something that's that's a, that's a great topic, right, or something. Um, but he was scared of it. Yeah. So these, this is one of he goes all the other tapes. He goes, I don't know where they are. There's no picture <laughs> on. I played so that's it the for him. that's a family jewel right there. It is. Right there. I played it for yeah. him, and he was like, Oh my god, that's me. That's me. This is 40 years later. So I have folks at home showing do show and tell. I have a convert from cassettes to uh, stuff to MP3. I had to find, because my iMac didn't have any more, I had to find my Apple CD drive. Wow. I have two of them. These are all, these are all relics, girl. These are all relics I got in here. <laughs> Little Apple symbols. Yes. So home. This is what you gotta do. Because <laughs> they don't come with that anymore. Nobody has. Remember when you used to have these laptops all had CD and DVD stuff? Not of anymore. Course. <laughs> so I'm going to convert these into MP3s. And I actually wrote a song off of one of his songs. I got his permission. Ooh. My next album. We're gonna include his 13 year old song. Very nice. Maybe he maybe brother can be in the background doing a little rap thing for you, right? When you're Got we're, gonna do something going. with this. we're gonna do something with it. We won't do anything now, but we're gonna do something with this. With okay. this actual the actual vocal. I have to say, but I gotta convert it to the, I'm gonna work on that today later today. That is really cool. Thank you for sharing. That That's is really fun. fun. And but but yes. I guess, why did our mother have it? I have no idea. Was uh, he embarrassed when he listened to it, or was he like, damn, I was good? Well, he goes back. I, I, I said I, I said he was good. He he was like in shock. He was like his face was like in <laughs> shock. I mean. He couldn't say anything. He was sitting right behind me in this little chair over here. He was like, like you tell he was listening. So I, I remember, because he mentioned, I don't know if, okay, so we, you and I always go back to the 80s or whatever, but he mentioned Zodies. Do you remember Zodies? I don't remember Zodies. It was it was a department store back in the I 80s. I don't remember Zodies, no. Okay, so yeah, mm -hmm. he mentioned, like, you and I, because, you know, we had Zodies. Do you remember Newberries? No. <laughs> Okay, let's let's go through let's go through the stores of the eighties. Let's see what let's see what let's see what Melissa remembers. This is a fun game. Stores of the eighties. Okay, <laughs> do you remember you remember Robinsons? Of course. And May Company. Well, yes, I'm a card carrying member. <laughs> well, you remember they they merged. My sister you worked when she worked when they merged. Robinsons May. Do you remember um, I Magnums? Of course, yes. Okay. Do you remember Gemco? Or I don't remember. No. Okay. Then it was Zodi's. Um, Montgomery Wards. Yes. That was my first credit card. Montgomery Wards. <laughs> I was like 16. Um, do you remember... Um, we were Benetton, obviously. Of course, yes. Yeah, I okay. shopped there, yes. Yes, Benetton. Um, and then, of course, there was uh, Miller's Outpost. Yes. The jeans, all the jeans. Yes, yes. Um, well, so what record store did you go to? Besides, there was Tower, but did you do Warehouse or Sam Yeah, Gideon? both of them. Music Plus. A Warehouse and Tower. Yeah, Tower, Warehouse, yeah, Warehouse. Yeah. Um, uh, God, that's bringing back memories. As, if, as I'm saying, as I say these things, I'm like, oh my God, as long as you don't remember. Um, what it was, I mean, some of them, I guess, I guess depends on where you live, where some of them were. Because some were chain everywhere. And so right. Um, so I think it's it a few others, but those, those, that's, that's a good little mix right there. But he mentions Zodis in there and like Newberries. And I'm like, oh my God. And Fedco was, um, well, that's, that's, I guess it was four, four folks on the phone here. But that was, a, that's where it's a target there now. 
saw the La Siena gun at Obama. I keep calling it a rodeo, but it's Obama. Um, and uh, and it was a big place. It was. And do, you, do you remember blue chip stamps? Of course, yeah, I do. And they had it too. Yeah, they yes. had it too. Now it's a habitat for habitat for humanity. There's, there's one blue chip stamp place on La Brea. Oh. Um, and now yes, it's a, it's a it's a habitat for humanity store. Oh, you know, cool. Buy stuff. And yeah, very towards, cool. Yeah, it's very cool. It goes towards yeah, of course. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's okay. I remember now if I go into the night and I go well late eighties, my father, Jim Lott, senior, I remember he wanted to get all this furniture and it was be fancy. And he he got it, and this is when Scandinavian designs first came out. Oh yes. <laughs> they were big this was before IKEA and shit. It was they were they were a big deal. Yes. Couches and shit. It was all this stuff. It was like big as Scandinavian the Scandinavian designs. It was, this was before Jennifer Convertibles, all that stuff came out later. This like this was I remember yes. that was the big deal that he's getting <sighs> fancy furniture at Scandinavian design. It was all sleek and everything. I'm like, okay, it was nice. I mean, I'm, I'm rolling my eyes, I'm just laughing, but like it was, it was, it was, it was nice. Because you remember, um, oh my god, they're actually making it, it into a um, a landmark. Oh my god, there's two places to make it into a landmark. I heard recently, I just heard uh, the Beacon sign. Remember Beacons? Yes, of course. Yes. And Felix the Cat. That's not that Felix. It's off the freeway. Oh my goodness! Making that into nice. a, a landmark. Very cool. I was like, I remember that that, that Felix. They tell you drove on the freeway. You saw the Felix thing, <laughs> folks. It was a car dealership, I think, or a car or something. Um, but they're making them into they're making them into uh, landmarks landmark so that they can stay forever. Yes, and be protected. I like this. I like that. I think it's. I think there's some things that are very LA. Like what? What do you? What, yeah. do, you think of, what do you think of LA? What are, I mean? What are some of the things you think about? Well, <laughs> besides traffic, um, you are the traffic, right? Besides traffic, no, I think um, when I think of LA, I think of Sunset Boulevard. Okay, and Melrose. Your Melrose, yes, and um, and I think of food. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, and sunshine. Yeah. Um, but no, I think more specifically to like landmarks or places where people go is like Pink's Hot Dogs, Randy's Donuts. Um, you know, those are two, like, again, food. Re- I like my food. Food I'm related. wrong with you. So seriously, I'm with you. The Hollywood sign, of course. Um, and then I guess some, we actually here in Chatsworth have this great little hamburger stand called um, the, the Munch Box. And it's this little building that sits on Devonshire Street. And it doesn't, like, you literally walk up, order, and they have covered patio seating on both sides of the little building, and then you can eat. They had the, they're known for their root beer. And um, they've got some really great hamburgers. They just make good food. Well, they're, they qualified and are a historical landmark here in Chatsworth. So I thought that that was really cool. Um and they used to do something that was really fun was they would, on their cash register, when they rang you up, they would have like this mark. And if, if that mark came up on your receipt, your food was free. I didn't experience that, but I know people in the community that that have or, or saw it happen. They, I don't think they do that anymore, but that's just a historical kind of a nice thing I think that they did was sometimes you got free food if you went there and you got that's lucky. very cool, actually, well. Yeah, and their root beer is, if you like root beer, they've like got beer. some of the best root beer. I like root beer. I mean, I haven't had root beer in a long time. I like root beer. Uh, yeah. I, don't drink a lot of, I don't drink a lot of caffeinated sodas these days, but I do like root beer. Yeah. Root beer floats good every once in a while. Oh, yes, now you're talking my language. Yeah, that's, I've never pop an ice cream. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, I've had it a long time. I've had a long, I went a long time. I, uh, but it's funny because I, cause I, think about lot, I think about a lot of those places too. Yes, yeah, and Pink's and obviously Hollywood Boulevard. Of course, the Walk of Fame. It, yes. Malibu. Right. I think it's Malibu, of course, or Santa Monica. Yes. So I was like, oh, yeah, I love the, I love the palm trees. My, 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 beautiful, my beautiful palm trees. I just do it on yes. palm trees. The four yes. or five. Maybe the four or five. <laughs> everybody, everybody does. I, seriously, people, I mean, I'm, all over the country, they're like, what's the 405? The 405? The 405? Like, they know that freeway. It's really it's weird. It's a parking lot, people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it's just so. Most funny. times, it's a parking lot. Everyone knows it. I mean, everybody just knows it. I um, yeah. Anyway, I it's funny when I include when I include like thoughts of L.A. Like when we go back in time, it's funny how I have to include the Valley a little bit because I'm not a Valley. I'm like Valley girl adjacent. 
kind of. I spent time in the valley, but it's just funny. <laughs> I do. I was like, okay, I I will include more the valley than I would Orange County. Oh, okay. Yeah, just for me, I just you know I spent time in Orange County too, but I've like when I think about more of my memories, I will I will include the valley more than I will going south. You know, there's parts of like my my client yesterday was like. I went to South Coast Plaza. I'm like, I've been to South Coast Plaza in years. Forever. So, yeah, she has a great Chinese spot. See, food. Of course, we're all food. There's a great Chinese spot down there. It's really good. Um, yeah. And she was like, she was down there because she was at John Wayne Airport. And then and, 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 and South Coast right there. Then I can tell you, Santa Ana, Tustin, and all. Like, everything's right there. And yeah. ISC's offices were down there in uh, Huntington Beach. He said, can we used to fly down? Again, I will never fly down, fly out of John Wayne Airport ever again. After that whole plane stuff, it was crazy. Um, but I like, we liked, I like it's clean and quiet and yeah. It's, it's, and I've gone down there. I also think about um, Alvarado Street. Yes. You know, they would, um, we would, when we were in, well, I guess it's what middle school is now, but in elementary school, we would take trips there and I loved going there. Um, and they've got, of course, Philippe's. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right? That's like... You got your hand dipped sandwiches. That's I think it's a Philippe's landmark. Is famous. Now. I think it's a landmark now. I think it's a landmark now. Is it a landmark now? It should be. Yeah. It should be if it's not. But yeah, so those are some of the other places I think about. And then, like, more currently, it's, it's so funny because I'm focusing on where, like, over the hill where you live. And because there's just not a lot in the valley. No. You know, like you've got the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion, you've got all of the theaters there. Um, so that's what I think about. It's, you know, I, I gosh, I remember the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion. Wasn't that the early site of the Oscars? Yeah, mm -hmm. not for years at the Oscars. Place. Crazy, crazy stuff. So there's so much that has happened in Los Angeles. <laughs> Yeah, well, because that was that's good trivia, you know. That is that. And then they went to the Kodak Theater later, and they started doing. And then the Golden Globes, so they started going to like the Beverly Hilton. That place is like the place for. It's just good. It's good seating, and it gets good just the way they have it set up. You can do it there. But Dorothy Chandler was where the Oscars were. That was the yeah. whole. I don't know who Dorothy Chandler is. <laughs> And why she got a theater? I don't, I don't, I don't. You should Google Dorothy Chandler and, and learn a little bit more. Hey, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna right now, I'm going to do a whole soliloquy or anything while I lecture on her. But I just want to look up, <laughs> like, like, who, who is this chick? How does how she get Dorothy? I'm sorry, I'm just going to ask um, Siri. Siri? Siri? Uh-huh. Thank you. Who is Dorothy Chandler? You're like awake this morning? She said, uh huh. Siri. Mm -hmm. Who is Dorothy Chandler? Dorothy Betham Chandler, the 19th of May, 1901 to the 6th of July, 1997. Born Dorothy May Buffum, was a Los Angeles cultural leader. Huh? She is perhaps best known for her efforts on behalf of the performing arts. Okay. This answer is from Wikipedia. Thank you, Siri. Quiet. Okay. So she's a Taurus, of course. What am I surprised? <laughs> of course. So she's a cultural leader. I, I, didn't, I really never knew who she was. Yeah, but I didn't hear him. I found who Jordan And now said. we know. See, we've learned something today. We did. Before nine o'clock. I think we're doing I think I think Friday's looking up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's why we did learn something today. We did learn something today. You know I'm TikTok famous. Um, anyway, I, um, I see your shirt. I don't understand what it is, but I it, I love black on you. Black and and any red and blue yes, on you. Yes. Those are your colors. So on TikTok, I am TikTok famous. This some of this was made. Somebody brought this. They made this for my nieces and nephew. Made this for me. The bread symbolizes the bread refrigerator video that did that made me super famous. <laughs> and I got a. And so apparently, someone else just did a duet with it. And now it's gotten like 60,000 views and it's blowing up. And it was sent to me. Say, James, you're famous again. I'm like, that video I made three years ago on February 2021 for eight se 11 second video is just continuing to make me famous. Fantastic. So they made this shirt for me somewhere. I'm just um, That's very cute. Okay. So this is a coffee and conversation with James and Melissa.
And we, like I said, we did. We learned. We learned some stuff today, and I just I never knew who Dorothy Chandler was. I just made me <laughs> laugh. We learned that today. Um, this is episode eighty three. We're moving right along, kids. Um, and you can follow us wherever you can follow. Uh, wherever you follow, oh my God, James, get it out together. This coffee needs to kick in. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Mm. Follow your own path. Thank it's actually, you. It's actually Dorothy. Oh, I love that. I have a whole thing on her. Um. Uh, follow us where you follow your podcasts. Follow us where you follow your videos. YouTube, JLJ Media. We're on all the streaming service platforms. So do it. Bye.